this is just a short video to show you uh, all what I've been doing, what I've been building in my shed lately. Uh, it's a, a beam engine. Uh, I've spent about four months on this so far. Um, but tonight, finally, I've managed to uh, build the, uh, the crank. And it's the first time I've kind of had it, well, actually moving on and running. And just uh, just to see just to see how it works um, it's not perfect yet obviously there's a lot of work to do still still got to build a lot of stuff got to build the uh, parallel linkage here and um, obviously I've got to build uh, the eccentric drive there which will drive the, uh, the valve block here in and out, up and down uh, but it's, uh, that's, the, that's just the cover I haven't decided quite yet how I'm, I'm going to do some of that uh, but yeah it's uh, it's coming on nicely I'm getting a good bit of good bit of, well it's just nice to hear it breathing actually it's got a good vacuum, good suction on it and uh, that's before I've even put any gaskets in or anything. Um, it's running nice and... Well, it runs quite sweet, actually. Sounds good. Um, so, it's a... Well, it's a 12 inch beam, 12 inches between centres. A 10 inch flywheel, cast iron flywheel. Uh, that was the only bit I bought, but that as a casting, and I've uh, obviously turned it up. It's about the biggest, uh, well, it is the biggest size I can fit on my Myford ML7 lathe. Uh, I had to build like a, <laughs> uh, well, uh, I had to build a plywood sort of face plate to be able to turn it, and uh, it, it runs reasonably true. It's not perfect; it's out of fraction because there's just so much flexure when you try and clamp this up. You know these these uh, bars flex a, a little bit, but you know it, it's okay and it runs out about I don't know about a millimeter or something like that, so it's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, um, got the crank arm today, so it's the first time we've been able to actually run it up. This is just a piece of threaded bar temporarily. So I can sort of work out the size. Uh, the beam's made from uh, two pieces of uh, quarter inch aluminium spaced out with 20 mil space in the middle. And uh, well, there's still a lot to do, as you can imagine. You know, I just want to get it up and running for now, make sure it all works, and then I'll start to sort of, uh, you know, put radiuses on these uh, uh, bearing blocks and this lot needs you know it, it basically all needs uh, some work it's all set on a four millimeter uh, steel plate and then into a um, oak block and I've uh, recessed the block so that the plate sits flush in there and uh, there's still a lot of work to do hell of a lot of work to do actually probably another I don't know three four months on this depending on how much time I get and then of course you know there's all the painting etc etc so but anyway one day it'll be uh it'll be up and running and uh, i can't wait to uh i can't wait for that day to be honest so there you go my uh mid build of my uh big beam engine 